All right, what I'd like to do today is show you guys how to simplify expressions um, by adding specifically like terms. Notice also in each one of these problems, I also have parentheses, so we're going to have to go and use the distributive property, which I've showed you on another video. So the first thing when doing the distributive property, that's the first way I want to simplify my terms. Well, first of all, actually, first thing I want to look inside the parentheses. Is there anything I can combine inside my parentheses? Because if I'm using PEMDAS, I always got to look at inside the parentheses first. And I look in here, I cannot simplify x minus 2 because they're not like terms. So therefore, now I'm going to have to go and use my distributive property. So I get a 3x minus 6 minus 5. And therefore, now I understand that I can only go ahead and subtract a negative 6 minus 5 because it's not the same, because um, those are like terms, and they're not the same as 3x. x has an attached variable, which we don't know the value of x. So therefore, you cannot add it or subtract it to your regular numerals. So we're just going to get 3x minus 11. On problem letter B, what I need to do, again, can I simplify anything in, in these terms? And you notice I can, because A and A, those are like terms, right? They both have an A, so I can combine them. So I'm going to get a 3A, um, sorry, 3A times, this would be 3A minus B. Now when I combine my, now when I use my distributive property, I get 9A squared minus 3AB. Okay? We don't know what the multiplication is of A and B is because we don't know the values of A and B. So we just write our answer as AB. If you wanted to do the distributive property first, you could also have done this, and hopefully this will be on the video. If um, you could just already do distributive property first and get 3A squared minus 3AB and plus 6A squared, then when you combine your like terms, you get 9A squared minus 3AB. So that is a different way to do it. However, it's always easiest to simplify your problem first before we actually um, do your next work. Over here, I'm going to have to use again my order of operations before I do anything. I notice here, I need to, I look at here and I have a division sign, I have distributive property. What, what do I do first? Well, if you guys remember, distributive property is actually multiplication. You're multiplying every term inside of there. However, we always need to do you do your parentheses, exponents, and then multiplication, divide, always from left to right. So I'm going to do my left to right. So therefore, I'm going to get 3x. I can't subtract yet. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 2 minus x. Now I can use my distributive property. So I get 3x minus 4, and that's a negative 2 times a negative x, which is a positive 2x. And then now I can combine these two terms, 3x plus 2x is 5x minus 4. Again, notice I'm not combining my 5x and my 4. Lastly, I have the distributive property again. Notice, though, I'm my, my number is now on the opposite side of the parentheses. It doesn't matter. Still, whenever you have a, a number or a variable or a term that is outside of a parentheses and there's no operation sign, then we assume it's going to be multiplication. And when it's multiplication, you have to make sure you multiply times every single term inside of there. So here I get ax plus a squared x plus 2ax. And then I notice that these two are exactly, again, the same terms. So therefore, I get 3ax plus 3a squared x. Okay. So that's how you simplify expressions by adding like terms and, I guess, using the distributive property. I get it.